Hello everyone. Information box ticket lifestyles brings you today biochemistry topic on phospholipid bilayer. But before starting this video, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon button. Let's dive into the table of content. First, we will learn about membrane lipids. Then we will learn about phospholipids, structure, types, arrangements, properties and lastly functions. First, let's dive into the introduction of membrane lipids. Most animal cell membranes include lipid molecules which make up around 50% of their mass. These molecules, which are amphiphilic, are grouped in a bilayer structure that resembles a two-dimensional sheet. Because these molecules have both a hydrophilic polar end and a hydrophobic non-polar end, the lipids in the cell membranes display two distinct properties. In most biomembranes, the hydrophobic core is 3 to 4 nanometer thick and is made up of hydrophobic chains of lipids in each leaflet or layer. Phospholipids, cholesterol, and sphingolipids are three main groups of membrane lipid molecules. The phospholipids, however, are the most prevalent types of membrane lipid. Now let's see what is phospholipids. Phospholipids are complex or compound lipids that have phosphate groups bonded to lipid molecules. Glycerol 3 phosphate derivatives, known as phospholipids, have esterified phosphoric acid and an organic alcohol group on the end, and the glycerol backbone connected to two fatty acids on the other. As you can see in this figure, a phospholipid by layer showing the hydrophilic head of the glycerol backbone, the phosphate, and the polar head group as well as the hydrophobic tails of the fatty acid chains. Now let's go through in detail on the structure of phospholipid bilayer. The phospholipid bilayer is made up of two layers of phospholipids with hydrophilic polar head facing outward and hydrophobic non-polar tails facing inward. This gives phospholipids their amphiphilic properties. A phospholipid molecule is structurally made up of two fatty acid tails, a head made up of glycerol, three carbon alcohol, and a phosphate molecule. While the phosphate group is esterified to the terminal hydroxyl group in glycerol, the two fatty acyl chains are esterified to the two hydroxyl groups in glycerol. The two fatty acyl chains differ in their degree of saturation or whether they are 0, 1, or two double bonds present, as well as the number of carbon atoms, often 16 or 18. Unexpectedly, the two forms of phospholipids, fatty acids, one saturated and the other unsaturated, are what give the phospholipid membrane its fluidity and flexibility. Show your support by subscribing to this channel. Next, we will learn the types of phospholipids. Based on the structure of their backbone, Phospholipids may be divided into two groups. First, glycerol phospholipid, phosphoglyceride, also known as glycerol phospholipids. The structural component is glycerol. Different phosphoglycerides exist depending on the kind of their head group, which is phosphatidylcholine. It is the phospholipid that makes up the majority of the plasma membrane. Choline a positively charged alcohol linked to the negatively charged phosphate group by an ester bond is present in the head group. Phosphatidylserine Here, an ether bond holds the positively charged ethanoloamine to the negatively charged phosphate group. Phosphatidylenositol Here, inositol is the head group. The phosphate group, when bound to other head molecules, such as hydrogen and ethanol amine, it's known as phosphatidic acid and phosphatidyl ethanol amine. Phosphatidic acid is considered to be precursor to many phospholipids. Thus, it is the most fundamental one. Members of the phosphoglyceride family, known as plasmalogens, have one hydrogen chain that is ester bonded to glycerol. The other hydrocarbon chain, on the other hand, is joined to glycerol with the help of an ether bond. The human heart and brain tissue contains a great deal of these. Number 2. 
sphingophospholipids. The skeleton is made up of sphingocyne. The amino acid sphingocyne has a lengthy hydrocarbon chain. Sphingomyelins are phospholipids with an overall structure that resembles phosphatidylcholine quite a bit. Phosphocholine is joined to hydroxyl group at the end of the sphingocyne backbone in sphingomyelin. It belongs to both the phospholipid and sphingolipid families. Now let's understand the arrangement in membranes. In aquatic environment, phospholipids are organized in a bilayer configuration with hydrophilic heads outside and hydrophobic tails within. Charged or uncharged polar groups on the hydrophilic head molecule interact electrostatically or establish hydrogen bonds with water to make it easier for it to dissolve in it. However, the uncharged and non-polar nature of the hydrophobic fatty acyl chains in the tail region prevents them from interacting with water. The phospholipids aggregate in a way that exposes their hydrophilic heads to water and conceal their hydrophobic tails in the interior, minimizing the cost of free energy needed to reorganize water molecules when phospholipids are distributed in water. As a result, spherical mycelis, biomolecule sheet or bilayers are formed. Kindly show your support by subscribing to my channel. Now let's head to the properties of phospholipid bilayer. Amphiphilic phospholipids are lipids. Self-assembling phospholipids are possible. The hydrophobic effect, which keeps lipid chains away from water to form micellus or liposomes, is the main driving factor behind this feature. Hydrophilic solutes cannot dissolve across the lipid bilayer due to its hydrophobic core. However, the bilayer's inclusion of membrane proteins make it easier for them to pass the impermeable barrier. The hydrophobic and van der Waals interactions between the lipid chains stabilize the lipid bilayer's distinctive layout. The iconic strength and pH of the outside aquatic environment, however, vary substantially. One phospholipid bilayer in the lipid bilayer exhibit either rotational or lateral movement, whereas the other bilayers exhibit transverse movement in a flip-flop fashion. Phosphoglyceride improve membrane fluidity, whereas sphingolipids and cholesterol diminish it. Temperature, the amount of cholesterol in the bilayer, the length and saturation of the fatty acid tails and other parameters all have an impact on how fluid the biomembranes are. Pinocytosis and endocytosis are two cellular processes made possible by fluid nature of the phospholipids. Phospholipids, which are structural component of biological membranes, make it easier for membrane proteins to be anchored. The two leaflet of the bilayers show an uneven distribution of phospholipids. Lastly, functions of phospholipids. Most biological membranes, including cell membranes, are made up mostly of phospholipids, which serve as barriers to control how molecules enter and exit the cell. When phospholipids are broken down by an enzyme, some byproducts serve as second messengers in the signaling process. For instance, phosphatidyl inositol 45 biphosphate is divided by the enzyme phospholipase C into inositol triphosphate and diacylglycerol. These two products may play a part in signal transduction. Numerous cellular processes, including apoptosis, phagocytosis and the control of mitochondrial function are mediated by phospholipids. The fluidity and flexibility of cellular membranes are aided by phospholipids. Overindulging in alcohol reduces the amount of phospholipids present in haptic cells, decreasing their flexibility and increasing the risk of liver injury or cell damage. Therefore, it is advised to provide phospholipids to treat this disease. And lastly, for the metabolism and absorption of lipids, phospholipids are essential. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon button so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you.